What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to MotoGP 2022, welcome back to career mode, we're back with some more. Carrying on our, uh, our Moto2 career, um, as you can see they've still not updated the bikes, it's been, uh, it's been a while since I recorded the first episode actually, I was quite far ahead, so I um, left it for a, like a solid, I don't know, four, four or five days? Um, yeah, still no update, still no update to the Moto2 stuff unfortunately, so we've got the old, uh, old graphics still, but never mind, never mind. Uh, this episode we're going to do two races as per usual. We're going to go to Mandalika and then we're going to Argentina, Termas de Rio, 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 no, de Rio, Hondu. Uh, and that's about it, I think. Uh, we've got some in here by the looks of it. Proposals. Oi, oi, getting some more interest from, uh, oh, Tech 3 KTM, mate. Ooh, wouldn't want it in real life right now, obviously, but, uh, in the game, it's a beautiful looking machine. I wanted that last year and, uh, I never got to it, but... Could be a possibility, could be a possibility. If, uh, if anyone's interested, pick pick one of these and tell me what you want to see, what you want to see. A pretty is a good shout, to be honest, with the, the progress they've made this year. But anyway, plenty of time to think about that. Uh, looks like we can make our own teams as well, but we're not gonna do that yet. Uh, so that's all good. No candidates available, everyone's happy. What we got going on here? Four weeks of frame still to go. Um, these dudes are researching the engine. I can't do anything else in the engine. Well, I can, but We'll, uh, we'll save that until till engine number three, the torque, basically. That's probably the one I want to go for. Um, oh, yeah, we've got electronics on the go, haven't we, as well? Cool. Loads of stuff on the go. All right, not bad at all. All right, for everybody, let's go to Mandalika. Not my favorite track. It's a new track. I don't know it very well, so this could be a tough race. Let's find out. Right then, FP3 uh, is done with. Combined results, we're top of the table. I'm not entirely sure how that's happened. Um, we're still rocking the same difficulty, so it's on 70%, I think, so maybe I should uh, bump it up a little bit. My favourite thing to say, and I never seem to do it. Um, I don't know, it was a bit of a, a one lap wonder, to be honest. Uh, it wasn't very consistent, as per usual, in free practice. So, But we did a 136.5 compared to 136.8 of uh, Canet and a 36.9 of Vietti. So, we go straight through the Q2. We should be able to put, hopefully, good qualifying lap in, but we'll wait and see. But then the race, I feel like, is definitely going to be a little bit tougher. Probably going to be a little bit tougher. So, we'll wait and see. Anyway, let's go to qualifying, and I'll uh, see you in a minute. Here we go then. Mandalika. Let's see what we can do. I said I didn't like this track. It's not that I don't like it, I just don't know it. Um, I didn't know it at all in, uh, in Moto3, obviously. Uh, got a little bit better of an idea this time for Moto2, I suppose, at least. I suppose that is one benefit we will have. Maybe that's why I've done a half-decent lap. Um, it's that last corner is horrible. Properly horrible. Or not this is the last corner, but the one before. I mean, this one ain't brilliant either. But uh, anyway, right. Flying lap we go. As I said, liveries and stuff haven't been updated still. We're not uh, officially the Mooney VR46 team still, but um, it's all good, it's all good. I do quite like this uh, this testing livery anyway, to be honest, so not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what we can do then, Let's see what we can do. Like I said, it's not it's not a bad track at all, it's, it's quite a fun track, it's just um, getting to grips with it all a little bit. And you really got to make sure you get this section right, otherwise, uh, ah, can lose a lot of time. You should be able to pretty much be pinned through most of this and then roll off around this one. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Alright, well. Completely messed that section up, so that's going to uh, ruin this lap completely, probably. Yeah, 0.4 off. We were under, I think, in the first uh, first split. But yeah, you really need to get that bit right. Definitely need to get that bit right, otherwise uh, your entire lap's pretty much gone. I don't know, it's just a lot of long sweeping turns that you have to, you need to definitely get your speed right. You don't want to go too slow, but you don't want to be going too fast either. Ugh, I'll always do that. And then the longest turn of them all, we'll turn, the penultimate turn, which blah, we're going way too hot into. Way too hot, way too hot, way too hot, way too hot. And um, we're going off the gravel. All right. What a start. Oh, no, I've dropped it. All right. I'm gonna try and do another one. Let's see how we get on. That was not a uh, not a good first line lap. I guess we'll finish it off. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. We'll do another one. We just about made it around the uh, the Panorama corner. Can we get around the last one without completely screwing this up? There's a much better lap. 12, <laughs> 12 seconds under our own time. That's obviously because we crashed. Where's that gonna put us? P1. No. That'd be crazy, man. Point two. Uh, point two over can it? All right. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Like I said, one lap wonders, I think. One lap wonders. I don't know how we're going to do the race, but uh, let's end the session, see if that gets, uh, keeps us pole. 
Blimey, we actually did it. 0.253 ahead of Aaron Cannett. And then we got uh, Pedro Acosta, Jake Dixon, and Vietti in the top five. Uh, and then Bobier, top six, I should say. That's the first two races, and that makes more sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's take this with a pinch of salt for now, because the race is going to be tough, I think. Definitely going to be tough. Um, why are we number 76? I've just noticed. Why has it got 76 next to our name, not 26? What's happened? This game, man. This game... All right, I'll change that at some point, but uh, the number on our bike is 26 still. I don't know why we're 76 in the uh, in that little picture there, but never mind. Let's go through the race, see how we get on. Here we go, then. race time. Got ourselves on pole, Canet, Costa, Dixon, Vietti, and Bobier, top six. Then we've got Fernandez, Lowe's, Arbolino, Schrotter, Ramirez, and Corsi, the top 12. We won't get through all of them because we'll be here all day. Mandalika, man. Mandalika. Let's see what we can do off the start. Let's see if we can get a good start. Definitely need to get a good start. Ooh, cheeky. They got, they got a very good start. Canna got an absolute scorcher off start. It's really hard in Moto 2. Yeah, you have got to be quite careful because it's very easy to uh, just completely loop out the uh, loop out the bike off the start. Right, as I said, this could be tough or we might surprise ourselves. I don't know. I mean, Canna's already trying to uh, get past us. Five laps of Mandalika, man. Oh, we're going out on the curb. Oh my god, the bike is shaking all over the place. Pretty bad drive right now. Pretty bad drive right now. We're going to have to bump it down to Paramount 2 because we're going to run out of fuel pretty quick. Stop, 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 stop. Right, somehow we're still in the lead on the first lap. We've not uh, completely messed this up so far. I felt like they were going to come dive underneath me into this final uh, or penultimate corner though, because I just cannot get this right. Having to um, shift down manually. Uh, just to try to slow the bike down a bit. Engine brake is on too, so maybe I should turn it up a little bit for this track. Oh, cost us straight into the side of us. There we go, man. We, we just about. We're going to lead, lead, lead the first lap around, uh, around Mandalika. That was tough. That was tough. I don't think we're going to be winning this race, am I? I think we're. Uh, Gonna get caught out at some point, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series so far, enjoying the uh, the Moto2 madness. Obviously, only had one episode so far um, before this one, but yeah, Moto2 time now. Get back on the uh, the two race two races an episode. Hopefully, as I said, we'll definitely do Argentina after this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoy MotoGP in real life as well. It's been some good uh, been some good racing. This is um, recording this after Le Mans, so. Uh, Pretty crazy race. Obviously, I had some madness in Moto3 with uh, with the rain. Moto2 was a bit boring, to be fair. But that man out front could have won the race, and he uh, had a bit of a rookie moment and then um, lost the front. Ryan Lachapelle, I think it was. Um, if you haven't seen the race, obviously, well, I mean, it was, it was like nearly a week ago, so you should have seen it by now. Um, oh, we're getting done here. We're getting done here. It's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah, it's a good race for them on. Good race for them on. Um, MotoGP was a bit crazy, obviously, as well. Bastianini again took his third win of the season. Pecco again got uh, ooh, got pressured into a mistake by Bastianini. And, uh, yeah, what everyone thought was going to be Pecco's comeback weekend for the championship, he's kind of um, shot himself in the foot again, really. But uh, I'm sure he'll come back swinging. It's all good. It's all good. Uh... Yeah, so close the championship, man. Quite alright, I'm still winning, but didn't have um, anywhere near as good a Grand Prix as he would have wanted. And uh, Alicia Spargo second in the championship still. Miller had a good weekend, obviously P2, but um, I don't know where he is in the championship, so quite far down. But anyway, it's a good, uh, good race weekend right in the month. Enjoyed it, enjoyed it. It's a good, uh, good, good race. Magello's next, I believe, in real life. In not this weekend coming, but the weekend after, I think. We're getting on this team, we're getting in a little bit through that section. I actually had a pretty good section through there. Whacked up to Paramo 3 and um... Oh, did we break way too late then or are we going to be alright? No, we're going to be alright. On the back of Canada again. Alright, like I said, inconsistent around this track, but we're showing some half decent pace, which is not too bad, not too bad at all. Just getting these sweeping corners right, man, it's so difficult. But this is good, this is good. Good level of uh competition. Oh, I got a bit hot into there. Oh, that's alright, that's alright. Turn that right. When do they stop breaking into this corner then? Pinned right near, pinned right near, pinned. Yeah, and they roll off just before that corner. Alright. 
pretty much what I was doing, but I think some laps I've been leaving it a little bit too late. Oh, the front, mate, the front wants to go right now so bad. Not bad though, not bad. Bloody hell, it's three laps done already. We've got a nice gap behind us to be fair to Fernandez and uh, Vietti. We're obviously. Did we win? Yeah, we must have won in Qatar, didn't we? Surprisingly, I was surprised at how well we did in Qatar. Hopefully, Argentina will do alright as well. It's not a bad track. And then, we're, um, then we got the ones I thought it was last time, which is going to be America, Cota, and uh, then Portimao, which I'm never very good at either of those two, to be honest. So. That's going to be a tough episode, episode next time, mate. Oh, no. Going wide. Going very wide. Should definitely get a warning for that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> should probably get more than a warning for that, to be honest. That should be a... Probably a proper penalty. But uh, we've got it on not strict. It's on whatever, whatever under, under strict is. Tolerant, I think it is. Oh, I tried to take a nice sweeping line right now, but it's a little bit off the apex. We got the fastest lap. We have as well. Final lap time, man. Final lap time. Fernandez has uh, managed to sneak past us. We got so much fuel left. We could have saved so much fuel. Uh, saved so much fuel. Use so much more fuel than we have. I um, don't know where I'm going here. That's a little bit cheeky, wasn't it? A little bit cheeky. Oh, back end slipping and sliding. Bit of a mess of races. We were on a podium and we did have a nice little uh, gap. But yeah, Fernandez dived underneath us. Come on, it's getting back, it's getting back. We need that podium, man. Oh, way too late on the brakes, probably through there. Block pass, block pass. Oh, <laughs> we knocked him off the bike. I mean, we didn't. Come on. I was in a little tap, little tap. We were, we, we pretty much made the apex. That was a bit cheeky, on it? I feel a bit bad now. Did we knock him off? Was that us? I guess we kind of did, didn't we? Oh, mate. Feel a bit bad, feel a bit bad, but... Uh, it's all good, man. We didn't get a penalty for it. I don't think we really knocked him off. He just he was right alongside us. He's trying to battle his way around the outside, and he uh, he lost out, unfortunately. All right, Penalty Corner, final lap. We're hopefully. Oh god, I hate this corner so much. We're going to get a podium at it. We're going to get a podium at Mandalika, which I'm very surprised at. And uh, I mean that's good, man. That is very good. If we can get a podium on our bad days, then I'll definitely take that. Teammates right behind us, but there we go, P3. There we go, Mandalika, podium, Pedro Costa, Aaron Callit, and Dougie Decker, beautiful. We'll definitely take that, man, we did a 137.3, we're only, yeah, a tenth of Aaron Callit's fastest lap, so, uh, we actually had some decent pace right now, as I said, it's not on the hardest difficulty, obviously, you all know I'm not on the hardest difficulty, I'm not claiming to be, uh, incredible at this game, but, um, for me, I will definitely take that, definitely take a podium, happy days. Alright, let's go to the next race. Right, and FP3's done with, and the combined results, we're absolutely smashing it yet again. We're doing a 142.2 compared to Aaron Callant's 43.7. So we're over a second and a half quicker than everybody uh, around Argentina. Again, I do like this track, so I mean, that's going to, you know, that's, that's why we're going so fast, probably. I do know this track, I do like it. So we'll wait and see. Um, I bumped up to 73% difficulty, so if anyone cares. If, if none of you care about difficulty, then just let me know. If you'd rather just see us, you know, be fighting for the podiums and stuff, then that's fine. Um... But yeah, so, I don't know, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens in the race, but I've got a good feeling about this one. We um, obviously need to go through qualifying first anyway. What am I talking about? We're not pole position. Let's go through to Q2, see how we do. Here we go then. Flying lap time, Q2, Termas de Rio Hondo, Argentina. I do like this track, man. This is such a good track. It's just good fun. Oh, very, very slow into the final uh, Panama corner there. Bit of a mess, bit of a mess, but it's all right. As long as we start our, uh, our lap all right. Cross the line we go. All right, here we go then. See if we can get another pole position. There's no reason we shouldn't. We were um, absolutely flying in free practice. So uh, if we don't get pole, then uh, I'd be very surprised. A little bit, little bit tight through there, if anything. A little bit slow, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, going to get a bit wider on this one, though. Oh, all right. I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Doing my classic thing of uh, messing up qualifying. Oh, God. Yeah, I am messing up. All right. Let's keep going. We, we had such a big gap. We might be alright anyway. But uh, yeah, we're, just, we're, still, <laughs> we're only just under, uh, just outside of Sam Laser's time. 43.3. We were doing 42s. So we're a little bit off pace. A little bit off pace, but nothing too uh, too crazy. We might better make it up around this bit. A little bit wide. A little bit wide again. As per usual, messing it up in qualifying. Still there or thereabouts. There, we're pretty much bang on Sam's time. You 
usually go way too hot into there. We're a little bit hot, which is going to be just out on the blue paint. Get it to it, mate. Oh, no, all right, I'm screwing this lap right up. It's a fun corner, that normally, because it's kind of got like a nice cambered uh, edge. Oh, I would say I'm screwing it up. We've actually made up time. Despite our mistakes, this bike, I must say, just turns beautifully. We've definitely got some serious, uh, serious package here with the VR46 team. No messing about. Oh, I nearly lost the front. Ran around under there. It's could be good enough for pole. It is good enough for pole. 42.9. We're doing 42.7s, I think. Free practice. So it could do better. Could do better. But I don't think we're going to need to. Oh, go straight on at turn one anyway. Ooh, oh, little, little, uh, that's not good. There's a little jump there into the gravel. I don't, I can't imagine that's there in real life. That'd be pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. Anyway, right, there we go. Let's leave it at that. Let's, uh, let's end the session there. If we get beat to pole, then this will good, this will good. Let's get, uh, let's get racing. Ah, we did it. We did it. Plenty of time. 0.386 ahead of Sam Lowe's. Again, we were quicker in practice, but, um, 42.9 still, uh, way faster than everybody else. They're all in the 43s. So, uh, yeah, man. Argentina. This could be, uh, could be a nice easy one. Or... Could all go wrong in the race, you never know. Right, let's go find out. Here we go, pole position, Sam Lowe second, Canet, Acosta, Vietti, and then Bobier, top six. We're going for a hard hard, because and it looks like most of those guys I was right, actually. But yeah, I didn't think about it. The um the front tire was looking pretty pretty knackered after just one lap, so stuck a hard tire in there. Um right on the grass apparently in the background, as you can see. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. We've crashed apparently as well. Everyone's crashing. Alright, madness on the uh, on the out lap, that's not good. Um doesn't affect us obviously in the race, so uh let's go. Formation lap complete. I don't know if formation lap was complete, mate. I think we uh, fell on formation lap. Oh, I was going to say a little bit slow off the start, but no, it seems right, seems right. Seems all good. Right, into turn one we go. We're a little bit slow. And hug the inside, though. Hug the inside. Try and get away, mate. Try and get away. It'd be nice to have another win. Podium and a win would be uh, would be ideal, obviously. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm very wide. I think they're probably going to come underneath us. Now we're all right, we're all right. Not the best drive onto the straight, though, but... Oh, is that a it? Yeah, can it and those right behind us. We're all spinning up on the curves as well. We have to knock it down to Paramount 2, I think. We're going to run out of fuel, otherwise. It's any downside to this track. It does use a lot of fuel. Moto 2 boys take a bit more of a normal line into this. I found in Moto 3 we were getting kind of destroyed into that, um, that tight right hander there. But the Moto 2 boys seem to take a more a more similar line to myself. More natural line. Nice. Right. I, I hate to say it, but unless we make any crazy mistakes, I feel like we're going to just be able to get away. We've definitely got pace around here compared to the AI, so... As I said, next to Max Portimao and um, America, Kota, which I don't do very well at normally, so... We'll leave it where it is for now, and then we'll, uh, when we get back to Europe, we'll maybe mess about difficulty for a bit. But yeah, it's just too easy, isn't it? Too easy for this track. Too easy for tracks I know, or tracks I like. Anyway, it's all good, it's all good. Hopefully you're enjoying it anyway. Let me know in the comments down below. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, 145.1. Got pretty solid lead as we go back onto the uh, the back straight. Oh, we're going to be going wide there. We're going to be out on the curb. Can't get that bit right in a moment, can I? I was all right through there in practice, making up a lot of time. Um, as I said, I'm recording this after Le Mans, so uh, it's officially official. Suzuki are, well, I mean, they're doing something. Yeah, I assume they're leaving, but we have to sort it out with Dorna first and get a, an agreement on the table. But, um... Don't know whether that means they'll have to pay a fine or something for leaving early, or I mean they haven't got any money supposedly, so I don't know how, how that's gonna work. But yeah, sad day, really sad day, sad times, man. But it's definitely official, so they've uh, yeah come out and admitted it. So I don't know, bit rubbish for the sport, really, bit rubbish. They're not the biggest factory. I mean they are, they're massive, but they just don't seem to get the funding. Like they, they were saying about it on um, on race day in Le Mans, um, the BT Sport guys. They don't have like a, a proper sponsor. Like X Star is not uh, their like title sponsor. Spons sponsor? Sponsor. <laughs> They've got Monster Energy as a a smaller sponsor, but they haven't got like a main title like Repsol or um, also Yamaha have got Monster as their like full title sponsor. Uh, Ducati have got 
uh, is it Lenovo now or is it something else I don't know but whatever their main you know, you know what I mean all these other teams have got and like KTM have got Red Bull obviously and we've got massive sponsors that pay for you know so much they pay so much money to be on the side of their bikes which obviously all goes to um to funding the, the race team and stuff but yeah Suzuki just don't have a, a, a big title sponsor I don't, I don't know why really why they don't go out and try and I'm sure someone would definitely but I think it's, they've always been this, but they haven't always been the same they used to be like Rizzler, Suzuki I don't know you'd think somebody would sponsor them I don't know why someone wouldn't it's a beautiful looking bike but yeah I don't know, don't know. That, that was one of the arguments that the commentators were sort of making saying get some money from some sponsors you, you could definitely still be in the championship then but I don't know maybe they just don't want to they're, they're kind of dropping out of everything by the signs of it no f- factory support in a Royal SBK even I, um, even endurance I think I don't know if, I could be wrong but from what I've read obviously it's all rumours we don't know but yeah supposedly even endurance racing which they again they won that with uh, Sylvain Gintoli he's obviously going to be out of a test uh, test ride as well he obviously works for BT Sport as well so I'm sure it'll be alright I'm sure he's made some pennies over the years so I'm sure he's uh, not worried for money but there'd be a lot of people losing jobs and stuff which is a bit of a shame in that sense and obviously it's a shame for, for a MotoGP in general to lose those bikes but um, Dorna seem pretty confident they're going to get a replacement I don't think it's going to be a new um, let me know your opinions do you think it's going to be a new manufacturer Triumph Kawasaki uh, who else pretty much it isn't it everybody else uh, why can't I think of any other motorbike brands don't I but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an existing manufacturer. I don't think they're going to get a brand new, uh, a brand new team. Kawasaki never. Well, they did it obviously in the past, but they're not interested at all. Triumph, they don't have a thousand CC sports bike. I know they're involved in Moto Two now, but um, I can't see them jumping up to MotoGP unless they've got some serious help from some big, again, big sponsors. They're only obviously you know small British brand. I know they're, they're pretty big, but yeah, let me know your opinions. I think who's it going to be? I think it's going to be. And a Prillia satellite team that that would be fair the fair thing to do for a Prillia I think if well obviously I say fair if they want to you know splash out the money again it's all money they got they got to put up a team even if they do get uh, somebody else to sponsor it and um, you know fund some of it they got to produce the bikes so I think it's going to be a Prillia satellite team it, it would it would make the most sense I don't think it can be another Ducati team I don't know if it's even allowed is it, it shouldn't be allowed if it if uh, if it is, they can't really have any more than... They've already got eight bikes on the grid. They can't have another team. They probably don't want it anyway, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, pretty, pretty. I've seen some things. Some people saying Leopard might want to step up to the uh, the factory... Uh, not the factory team, to the MotoGP paddock. Leopard or Prilia. That, that might be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. have to wait and see. But, yeah, South Dave Suzuki. Let me know your thoughts. Who's gonna? What team's gonna come in? And, and what riders are going where? I think Mir is, is off to Honda. Pretty much a guaranteed. Rins, I, I, I think he'll stay in the paddock. To be honest, he is a good rider. He just he just makes a few too many mistakes. The Mon being obviously uh, a prime example of that. He had the pace for the win, and uh, completely messed it up. I'm I'm losing time here. Why, why have I suddenly gone so slow on that lap? Yeah, so I think Rins will stay in the paddock probably. Someone will probably give him another chance. There's talks of Miller going to KTM now, leaving Ducati, and then Bastianini going up to the... Obviously, Bastianini's been putting some solid results. Going up to the factory squad. Um, could Rins join the, the, the new team, the, the Aprilia, Leopard Aprilia, or whatever it's going to be? Could they bump Maverick down to that team and then put Rins in the factory team? I don't know. It's going to be a lots of ifs and uh, ifs and buts and guessing for for a while yet. We're only what like a third through the uh, the actual season, so I, I, we've got plenty of time to uh, to speculate. I think that the depends what. There's also talks of um, the Wii U Yamaha squad. R R N F is it R N F racing? Or, yeah, I think it is. Razan. I don't know. Whatever, whatever that team's called, I always forget what it's called. The Wii U Yamahas basically. Talk to them. Uh, obviously not being happy with their Yamahas and. Um, move into a different uh, manufacturer so maybe they'll get a Prius and then Yamaha could have a, a separate satellite team wait and see obviously VR46 I think are pretty happy with uh, Ducati so I doubt he's going to go to Yamaha I mean no one's going to want that Yamaha at the moment Kawatawara is literally the only person on the grid that can ride it The uh, I'm pretty sure I don't know what the end of the result was but at one point in the race the, the other three Yamahas Morbidelli Dovi and uh, 
Darren Binder were, were last, basically. The, the three last bikes on the in the race. I don't know if that's how it ended, I honestly can't remember. But yeah, at one point they were dead last, and uh, Quattararo was, what, like fifth? So Yamaha need to sort their, uh, sort their stuff out, man. They've gone down the route of. Whoa, 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 hang on, they lost the front. Give me a second. They're going down the route of Honda. Honda obviously put all their faith in Marquez, built a bike for Marquez. And then when he was out, nobody else could ride it. Uh, it's happened before, Ducati with Stoner, he was the only one that could ride it. They've all done it, all these teams have done it. They, you know, they get a good rider. And uh, as long as one of them can ride it, that's it. But yeah, Yamaha is struggling, man. And even Quattararo is struggling. So, you know, when, when the champion, the top dog, is struggling, you know uh, you need to do something about your bike. But, anyway, kind of going off on a tangent. But yeah, let me know what you think. What, what's the new team going to be to replace Suzuki? And uh, who do you think is going to be riding on it? And what, what, where is everyone going? I think we could be saying bye to a few people. Nakagami, possibly, could be going. Talks of Ayagura coming up from Moto 2. Yeah, well, wait and see, wait and see. But I won't speculate anymore. Plenty of, uh, plenty of racing left in the year before that happens. Anyway, right, Austria, not Austria, Argentina. Terminus de Rio Hondu. We've, uh, we've pretty much smashed it, haven't we? We've, we've, they've been there or thereabouts, right behind us. Waiting for me to make a mistake. I've nearly made another one there. Oh, I have made another one there, actually. They are right on the back of me. Ooh, got to get careful. It's in the final corner here. Definitely need to get this stopped properly. Don't leave the door open too wide. Don't want to... Ian Erne style pass coming up the inside of us and taking us out. Now nah, let's hope we're good. There we go. Race win. Happy days. There we go. Final results. We took the win. Aaron Cannon was second, and Sam Lowe's was P3. Man, not too bad at all. Not, not too bad at all. Cannon is definitely our uh, our main championship rival. I think. Let's, I mean, talking of championship, let's have a look. Yeah, he's only six points behind us. Bloody hell. All right, that's quite close. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna have to be careful. Six points behind. Cost of 28 behind already. Sam Lowe's has made a bit of an improvement there. 34 points. And then Vietti. Yeah, Aaron Cannon, mate. All right, got to keep an eye on him. Don't want to. Uh, we nearly signed for that team, so uh, yeah, we have to be careful. Don't want to lose out to him. We obviously want to win this championship and get uh, up to MotoGP. But there we go. Another race done. Another race win. Beautiful. And there we go, guys. Another episode done. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We are. Uh, it was not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Some good results there, definitely. We're um, we're doing all right. We're doing all right, at Moto2. Next time out, we're going to, as I said, Cota, America Grand Prix, and then we're going to Portman, Portugal. Not my favourite tracks. Not my favourite tracks at all, but we'll wait and see how we do. Um, as I said, start letting me know what uh, what MotoGP teams. I know it, doesn't, it seems like a long time away, but let me know what MotoGP teams you want us to sign for. We've got a lot of offers, man, and a lot of them are high. We have got some. We have actually got an offer from Suzuki now, Medium, and Red Bull, and Pramac. Oh, all right. Didn't even realise they were there. Uh, if I'm honest, I kind of want to go for a satellite team just to make it a bit more realistic, but then could it be quite fun just to jump straight into a big team? I don't know. Pramac is obviously a very good satellite team. Definitely a possibility getting on the Ducati. I am tempted to Aprilia. I know Aprilia is a factory team, obviously, though, so that kind of ruins my my plan. But I am tempted to get on an Aprilia. But yeah, let me know, man. We probably won't go with VR46 again, because obviously we're with them in Moto 2. I know in real life it makes sense to, but just to mix it up a bit in the game. We'll probably go somewhere else. Not interested in that Yamaha at all. That's going to be... Well, actually, I say it'd be a terrible bike. It'd probably be quite good in the game. It's not very good in the, in real life, but it's a bit ugly, though, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe LCR, Castro Honda. Could jump on a Honda. I haven't really ever rode any Hondas in my OGP. We did uh, KTMs and Ducatis and stuff last time, so it could be a Honda, Aprilia. Maybe Suzuki? I don't know. Probably don't want to jump on a factory team. Let me know what you guys think, though. Let me know in the comments what you think. At some point, I will do a poll on our community page, so keep an eye out for that. I'll leave it a little bit later for in the season. See if we get any more offers, although the only three left are the uh, the proper big boys. Yeah, Repsol, Honda, Ducati, and uh, Monster. So Energy, uh, Yamaha. So we're not going to go through those three, definitely not. So actually, maybe I'll do a poll now, and then I'll do another one close to the time. Maybe. Don't know. Wait and see. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. We very much appreciate it. And I'll see you next time for more HP 22. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye.